What's going on? It's your host, the one and only Enraged Mongoose. And I welcome you to Dark Souls. If you're new to my channel, which is most likely the case, because seeing as this is my first video on this particular channel on Enraged Mongoose Productions, I thought this would be a great idea to start a Dark Souls game. Seeing as I've played through the first and the third twice, I've loved them both, and I uh, thought it was a good idea to start a Let's Play, or a playthrough, however you want to look at it. So, first I'd probably give a little background as like we're going through the character creation menu, and then I'd probably let you guys watch the intro clip to the game. And so I guess here's where we begin. So, we're going to worry about character name last. Sex, uh, I have no particular preference. Last playthrough I went through, I went as male. Uh, class, so here's, here's a quick debrief on class. Knowing this game has been out for six years, it's not unlikely you're gonna find other channels that have done this three or four years before me, and it may not be something new. But new commentator, commentator? Yeah, commentator. Should be. Anyway, new commentator. I want to give you my perspective of Dark Souls, and I thought it'd be great to start with the first one. So, picking your own class. This is always a tricky challenge, seeing as the first time you play this game, you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. And everyone's telling you and get, telling you, giving you advice of all sorts of things you can do and things not to do, and a lot of people will try to give you advice that will troll you. So, when I played my first round, first playthrough of Dark Souls, this one, about a year ago ish, less than a year ago, yeah, I started, yeah, less than a year, I started in March. Uh, I went as a warrior, um, and then when I played Dark Souls 3, I went as a pyromancer. The only difference is um, the warrior. Probably greatest strength. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Strength's a little higher. But the Warrior's a great starting class. So is the Knight. Wanderer. Not bad. A little bit all around if you see the Endurance, Strength, and Vitality over on the left side. The Thief. Interesting uh, ability to do like a backflip almost. But it's like a backflip handstand. It's another way of evading. Not bad. And, um, Bandit, have never played as Bandit. Hunter, haven't played as Hunter either. Sorcerer, I say you really have to know what you're doing to be able to play Sorcery. Like, Sorcery is, I've got two, two things to describe Sorceries. Uh, Sorcerers, one, it's put to play the game. And I'm sorry to say, there are a lot of people who play Sorceries, I play Sorceries, but to some degree it is way to play the game. A, because you've got really weak defense, and B, because assuming that the um, spells have not been nerfed, you know, when you've got your intelligence and faith like completely capped out, you do unbelievable damage at long range. And this is the same case with all ranged uh, players of any sorts of game. They're just OP. Uh, Pyromancer is great because it's a mix of, uh, in my opinion, it's like a mix of... Um, Wander and Sorcerer because you have the Pyromancy ability. This is interesting. I'm not entirely sure whether I'd pick this now, but we'll see. Cleric, also not bad, you know, but again, different skill sets to start off with. And Deprived. Deprived is interesting because Deprived is an all around. Ooh. Anyway, Deprived is an all around. Um, as you can see on the skills here, it's all leveled. And you start, like, pretty low. Right? Oh, actually, no, sorry. Oh, only in Dark Souls 3 you start pretty low. Anyway, Deprived, it's like well-rounded, so you can pick whatever. This is great for people who know what they're doing usually. Um, you can pick Deprived if you want to screw around. The odds are you will get killed. A lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Okay, um, so now we got to pick. Warrior, Knight, Wander, Thief. And don't worry, I'll talk about the stats in a second. But I just want to pick one, and then... Uh, Last time I played as Warrior. You know, just for the shits and giggles, we're going to. Oh, this is so tough. 
I really like Pyromancer. No, no, no. We're gonna stick with Warrior because when I do my Dark Souls 3 New Game 2 Plus playthrough, I'll uh, I'll go with the, through that in detail. Okay. Important things to note: the gift, starting gift, not a big deal. Half, of, like majority of this, you're gonna use once, and that's it. There is one item on this list which is absolutely broken, and I highly recommend you don't use it if this is your first playthrough. If you know what you're doing, this is not your first playthrough, go ahead and pick the Master Key. The Master Key opens up basic locks, it says, but it opens up a majority of locks in the game. It will like, allow you to get to higher level areas, or areas with just tougher bosses. Not bosses. Well, tougher bosses as well, but like tougher enemies. And so, in doing so, you're, you have the key to getting yourself screwed early. So uh, I'm not going to use this. None. That's a little bit of deprivation, assuming this is your first playthrough. Goddess Blessing. Again, one usage. Black Fireman, one usage. Twin Humanities. That's useful. I'll explain Humanities later. Uh, binoculars is what I did on my first playthrough. I thought that would be interesting just to be able to spot stuff from a distance. I never used it. Forget it. Pendant. This was added into the game. Is a little bit of a cheeky thing. I added this into the game, and they're like, oh, this has no effect, really. But I'm pretty sure... That in the um, oh wow uh, in Miyazaki's company, the creator of Dark Souls. I hope I got his name right, Miyazaki. I could be wrong. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, his company, the one that founded Dark Souls, uh, they added this pendant, which has no effect particularly, but I think it does something. Um, Tiny beings ring, special tribute ring, HP recover solar eclipse. Not a bad idea. Old witch's ring, uh, no obvious effect. Again, very similar to the pendant. So in this case, if this is your first playthrough, I'd say no, 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 possibly. I'll explain why soon. No, no, definitely not. Uh, possibly, no. So now we have one, two, let's say we have two of them, right? Two things we can use. So either we can do this, which is permanent or consumable. And I would stick with the permanent. So tiny being your ring, it is physique. I like, ugh. I'm gonna go slim. Okay, face. I always went for a Sora Noble. I thought, like, I'll just scroll through the faces. Sweet. Okay, I would go for a Sora Noble. Hair. And you can also use the, I'm using an Xbox One wired controller. It's an afterglow. I've got a sticker skin on it, but um, you can use the right. Thumbstick, joystick, however you want to pronounce it, to look around at your character. If you're using keyboard, I wouldn't know what to tell you for the controls. Uh, use the D-pad to go up and down. Huh. Scraggly. I think I'm going to stick with semi-centered. Yeah, let's go semi-centered. Color. Yeah, let's go blue. Sweet. Um, so that's most of what we've already selected, most of everything. I'll explain the um, stats now. For people who are playing this first time, if you guys already know what you're doing, you've played Dark Souls before, you know what the stats are, you know what I'm going through, just skip ahead to the video. To Skip ahead along the video and we can you keep progressing. So, you start out as level 4. Vitality, that's like your health. So, we have an 11 in health, and the more... It, Every time you upgrade a stat, it increases by a certain amount, and um, yeah, and so this is like 11 level in health, but you don't have 11 health points. Yeah, uh, I'll explain soon. Attunement, this is like the ability to use magic, it's like magic points. Endurance is like how much, how much hits you can take with your shield up and or sprinting, how long you can sprint, uh, and or um, rolling. Strength itself is how much you can hit with heavy weapons that are like slow and large. Dexterity, again similar to strength, but this is like fast and nimble weapons. Resistance, I'm pretty sure this resistance is like against frost, poison, bleed. So again, that's up to you. I'd rather wear rings for resistances. You'll catch, you'll find them along the game. Uh, intelligence. That's more for magic. Intelligence, magic, intelligence and magic. Mother Hubbard. Intelligence and faith is for magic players. So, 
I'll explain that later on in the playthrough. Humanity is like how much you've been humane, how much you, how much, how humane you are. Um, I'm so sorry. I am mustering, muster fudging my words. Okay, yeah, I feel like we should just accept at this point. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing my name. That's stupid. Okay, we're just gonna go. What? It's too long. Okay, you know, we're just gonna go. There we go. That is my nickname, by the way. Or at least, nickname, YouTube nickname. Um, here we go. Accept. Awesome. Now it's gonna play through the animation of the game, so I highly, if you haven't seen this before, watch it. It'll In explain the a lot. Age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Wind's mighty gods ruled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead.
And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Wow, I look really ugly. Oh, okay, there we go. Is everyone still with me? Awesome. Cool. Sorry to jump in on you there. Um, this is kind of where the game starts. And yeah, you do look ugly because you're hollowed. Everyone is. Everyone's cursed. The Dark Sand brands everyone. So you're like dead and not dead. On a side note, I also apologize for the voices coming around outside. I do I am recording this. This is my, in my dorm room. So, um... Here we go. I'm only gonna go through this area, and uh, here we go. So we're in a cell. There we go. And we got a broken hilt straight sword, I believe. Awesome. That sounds like a boss. There we go. So the red bars are health, green bars are stamina, and on the bottom. Yeah, bottom right corner is the number of souls we have. Remember, moving around, yeah, you'll figure out the controls as you play. Again, this is a learning game, and the hardest part about this game, which I cannot stress enough, is um, learning the mechanics of the game so you can play smoothly. Like, first you fight against yourself and the game, and then when you get good enough, you're just fighting the game, which makes it a lot easier. Um, Okay, so we want to collect as many souls as we can to level up, and that's how you level up in the game, that's how you get stronger, that's how you are able to do stuff, magic, pyromancies, uh, leveling up your weapons, so forth and so forth. So right now we are, wow, uh, Undead Asylum, there we go, yeah, that's the name. We're gonna, this is a bonfire, you like the bonfire, again, really easy. You come sit here to... Pretty sure repair your weapons. No, you repair your weapons separately. Um, you sit here to regen your health, your stamina, and uh, do various things. It's also your save point, so should you die, you respawn at the closest bonfire, or the last bonfire you sat at. So here we go. It's our broken, stupid sword. It's boss time. Sweet. There we go. Now we run. You run. You just run. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. He dropped. And away we go. Awesome. We're still safe. Sweet. Okay. Second bonfire. Nice. 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 We don't have to sit because we're good. You can read these. They're really useful for, uh, for figuring out the mechanics of the game. I've already read them. I've already played through the game, so I'm not concerned. Watch the arrows. Take your shield. Here we go. Up, up. Use that. Am I screwing up? Changing the map. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Sweet. Right there. Now hold your shield up. Left bumper. Make sure to lock on. You push in the. This is so stupid. Awesome. I usually don't have this much trouble with these inferior low lives. Oh my god, this is. Sweet, that's better. Now let's get rid of you because you're a problem. Oh, so much better. My bad. Okay, I should have waited. Okay. Here we are still in the Undead Asylum.
take note, whenever there's uh, one of those, the white illusionary walls, um, it means there's a boss fight usually. In that case, it was just allowing us to the next area. Watch out, there's going to be boulders, so just roll out of the way. Just a little bit of falling health, but at least I didn't get crushed. Enter into the breaking point of the boulder, and you'll see the guy here who helped you, who gave you the key to exit. So talk to him. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm d I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? And then you get to decide, so I say yes. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Sweet. So the Estus Flask is like your healing potion. It's literally the only thing that's going to keep you alive beside a bonfire. That guy died. He didn't get any souls. Oh, jeez. Okay. Forgot how easy it is. Okay. Remember, it's uh, to hold up your shield. It's left bumper on the Xbox One. To uh, quick slash, it's right bumper. To charge, charge slash, it's... Uh, Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. To quick slash, it's right bumper. To charge slash, it's right trigger. So there are three guys here, one guy with a bow, so just draw these two out. There we go, that was a, that was like a stabbish, stabbing motion. It was a charge though. There we go, avoid his arrows, and now stab. Always make sure you're locked on to your target. I'm just gonna get the one guy in here, he's a little tougher. Here he is. There we go, extra souls. So make sure you heal, because now we're about to go into the boss fight area, our first and only boss so far. And uh, I'm going to show you a cool trick to reduce his health significantly. Plunging attack. There we go. Look down, lock on, and then right bumper. Sweet. Now the fight begins. Always try to stab him. Whoa! Yep, avoid that. Oh, got a little bit of lag there. Just keep going. Oh, I'm not... Okay, wait. Up, 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 up. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, I was really bad at the first beginning of this game. Or at the first playthrough of this game. There we go! First boss defeated. Sweet. There we go. And we get into humanity. Nice. So I'll explain that in a second. Um, make sure you get the plunge to make sure you get the plunging attack, make sure you lock on to the monster by pushing in the right thumbstick. And uh, now we go to run is B. You'll get all these instructions later. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through. Um, so you go out the closed door over there. And uh, ta-da! Let's see. There we go. Again, the boss drops the key, so you can go through. And uh, now we're out of the tutorial area. Nice and easy. Goodbye. Oh, lag. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that 
that one day an undead shall be chosen. To the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. This is considered your main hub. You get it? Okay, sweet. So now I'm just gonna quick explain what the humanity does, the one we receive from the boss. So go into your inventory, and then just go down to humanity, or in this case, seeing it's already selected, we can just use the down on the D-pad, and there we go. You click X to consume, and it will reverse your hollowing. When you're hollow, you do less damage. I'm pretty sure you take more damage. Uh, your resistance is a little bit lower, and um, yeah, it's just not as good. The, the other thing is though, if you are connected to Wi-Fi, so you're playing the game and you're online, at least the game marks you as online, and, oh, okay, that's just uh, another player telegraphing, don't worry, he's also playing online, um, but don't worry about it. If you are uh, unhollowed, so you've taken, you've eat, consumed the humanity, you will no longer be hollow, you will be human, but that also means you're prone to invasions. So in this case, there we go, now we are a lot less hollow I believe. Reverse hollowing, so you see how this counter went from 0 to 1 up in the top left corner, that's your humanity counter. There's soft humanity and hard humanity, I'm not going to explain it, if you want to go figure it out, you know, Google search, uh, Dark Souls Wiki, Flex Life, Flex for Life, Flex for Life, something like that. And now you offer your humanity to reverse your hollowing. There we go. Humanity restored. Nice. Now you look like a normal human being again. Well, that was it for the first part of Dark Souls, of the Dark Souls playthrough with your host, Enraged Mongoose. And uh, next time around, we'll be exploring the uh, Undead Settlement area. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's been a while. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you made it this far in the video, congratulations. You're a real trooper.